Yeah. First little dinker of the day. Pretty good, Nick. Come here now. I'm gonna let you go. You don't have to come here for me. Longer than I wanted it to. Alrighty. Get him on the top of the mouth. Look where he needs to be. Oh, he is mad, boy. He is mad. Whew, summertime fishing, guys. It is tough sometimes, but you just gotta stick with it. Keep trying other things. So, alright. Let's get him back in the water. I got you in the mouth. Let's get you. Oh, look out now. Cuz. Alright. Got Mr. Fish in the mouth. Alright. That's a nice fish. They uh, actually had to change areas, guys. And don't be afraid to change areas in the summertime. Anytime, really. Because, uh, you know, the spot you went to last week that produced may not be the spot that's going to produce for you this week now last week you guys seen me fish a little bit this morning i was in that waterway section again like i was last time and the conditions have totally changed we had a little bit of current which we had none last time so those fish were not up in those drains like they were and uh the current was rolling we had a lot of rain lately but the water was really really dirty so I couldn't really get on a solid pattern, so I've uh, run to a different area. I'm up here around the Goat Island area, uh, so fished off to a little runoff. You can probably hear it in the background, to where there's like a creek channel come around this bluff, and I know there's some brush here. I usually crappie fish this area, but uh, hey, that produced a good one, so uh, let's see if there's any more in that. guys as you can see the bite was lukewarm at best today a few bites here and there had to do a lot of changing and had to adapt to a lot of conditions today uh, the first place we went to in the last video you guys saw me at the uh, on the waterway it started there again but the conditions had changed a lot from one we had current which we did not have last time uh, we had a lot of water coming in because we've had a lot of rain this week 
so the water was actually pretty muddy and pretty stained up. I did get a bite or two there, caught a couple fish. Uh, one was on a uh, black and chartreuse zoom lizard, six inch lizard. Got that paired on a 7.6 favorite defender rod, Daiwa CA80 reel. More than likely 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon on that. Don't really remember. Uh, quarter ounce weight on that tungsten weight as well. Uh, the other bait that did me good today on a few bites was the uh, Zoom UV, uh, the Mag UV Crawl. Uh, switched colors. This is kind of a uh, kind of a disco shed kind of green pumpkin with purple green flecks in it. Of course, dyed the tail green again. Five volt hook. 5 volt as well on the uh, lizard quarter ounce weight. Uh, Copolymer line 12 to 15. Uh, again, my custom reel, excuse me, rod and a loose speed reel. Same setup as in the last video, but I had to do a lot of changing today just because of the conditions. Uh, there was a lot of current, which was typically good if it's cleaner than it was. It was kind of really, really dirty up today. Plus a barge came through as I was fishing, so that kind of muddied it up, uh, and I stuck with it for as long as I could. But it was just, you know, after a while, you you got to you got to change if you want to catch fish. So I did. Ran up here around the Goat Island area to where the water is a little cleaner, and I uh, did catch one. Got a few bites on uh, both the crawl and the lizard, just kind of dragging it around. To there was actually some uh, a creek where the water was running in. A little bit cooler water. Got a few bites off of this. It's actually one of my crappie fishing spots. It's got a lot of brush around it. But uh, you know, that's that's how, what you got to do. Changing conditions, rain, get a lot of rain, get a lot of wind, get a lot of current, uh, and you've always got to be changing if you want to keep you know catching fish. You could stick with it all day and hope for the best, or you could change and catch fish, which that's what we needed to do today. Uh, one of my main things is knowing when to change, when not to kind of. Like anybody else, I'm hard-headed. I like to uh, kind of stick with what I'm used to throwing. But uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Comment below how you guys been doing. I'd like to hear how you guys been doing, what you've been catching on. Uh, comments on the last video was really, really good. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the views. Appreciate you guys watching. It's getting hot out here. The traffic, as you can tell around me, is getting up as well. So I'm going to go on home. That being said, you guys know who I am. I'm the Bassman Ernest Cole, and we'll see you guys down the road.